So I guess YouTube wants me to record my HTML and CSS tutorial again because somehow, even though it's been up on YouTube on my channel for a year almost, my video went from being nine and a half minutes long to being 26 seconds long. I don't know how that could have happened without somebody screwing with it. But anyway, uh, I'm going to do it again. And I'll try and make it as short as possible. So what we've what we've done here so far, uh, we brought up a text editor. Uh, on the Mac, it's text edit, and on Windows, it's Notepad by default. And we saved our file as mywebsite.html. We added that extension in. And if text edit comes up with a warning and asks you, are you sure you want to change the the text format from RTF to HTML? Just click yes because you've got to make sure that it's a .html file and not a rich text format file. So we start out with our head with our with our head tag with our HTML tag and then our head tag and then our well, let's do title. Give it a title and say my web page. And that will be what's displayed at the top of the page on the border to the window or uh, at the top of the tab that's open in your web browser. That's that's what that text is. And then we start our style type equals text slash CSS. And we're going to start with a header one tag to make a header on our web page. Um, <coughs> they have header tags H1 through 6. Uh, H1 is the largest, H6 is the smallest, and we're going to give it a color of red a background color of black and we're going to align it in the middle of the page text align equals center and then we're going to define our we're, well we're going to format our anchor tags and say color equals blue and text decoration equals none and font weight equals bold and then we're going to define what a link looks like when someone hovers over it. So we say a hover color equals red text decoration equals underline this time. And we'll keep the font weight at bold so we don't need to define that a second time. Um, and then we're going to do our footer and we're going to give it a class just in case we decide to add footers to other tables or cells in our web page or website we're going to make it a class and call it footer so that we can make separate footers. We're not defining footer universally and by not defining it universally we put a dot in front of it to make it a class. So we've got our class of footer and we're going to say color equals green and that's going to make the font green and text no font weight equals bold and yeah text align equals center and close that with a curly bracket just like the rest of them and then we're going to close our style tag to end that and close our head tag to end it and then we're going to start our body tag and this is where the HTML is going to go for all of our content we're going to say h1 h1 we have to put that in little greater than and less than symbols and say welcome to my website close the h1 every opening clap every opening tag has a closing tag in uh, well I guess it depends on the doc type I'm not going to talk about that though because I don't really have time for this video and then we're going to make a hyperlink so we say a href or anchor hyper reference equals and then we're going to insert the link and this time we're going to say google.com and we're gonna I'm I am, I am going to show you a couple properties that you can add to links like title equals and this is what's going to appear when someone mouses over your link there's going to be a tooltip and it's going to say in this instance we'll make it say Google search and we want this link to open up in a new page or a new tab and that depends on how they have their browser settings uh, but we're going to make it say target equals blank and that's how that happens and then we're gonna close that out and make a name for it for them to click on we're just going to say Google, and then we're going to close our anchor tag. So we have a href equals 
google.com, title equals Google search, target equals blank. Make sure to add that underscore before the word blank. And then we're going to add a horizontal rule. And in X to X, uh, XHTML, uh, those don't need opening and closing tags. It's a self-containing tag. So we uh, open it with the greater than symbol or whatever and then close it itself instead of instead of doing it hr and then hr that's not how horizontal rule tags go it's either like this in html or like this in xhtml so we make a horizontal rule that's going to display across the page and then we're going to add our footer underneath that so we're going to put that put that in a layer or a div and say class equals sorry about that class equals footer and we're going to put copyright symbol 2009 my website and then close the div and then close the body tag and then close the HTML tag and that's it and when we go to view that browse to it first. Open that up in Safari and there it is. And since I've already visited it and I didn't define a visited, since yes I have already done this, oh, uh oh, I must have done something wrong because my footer isn't green. Why isn't my footer green? I told it to be green. I closed the style tag. I made it a div class equals footer. Why isn't it green then? Did I open the style wrong or something? I couldn't have because my header is styled the way it's supposed to be. That, of course, is the way it's supposed to be. A hover is still supposed to be red. Ah, I didn't close the A tag out. Okay. Well, there you go. A little bit of troubleshooting there. So we'll reload that page, and there we go. We've got our green font, green footer. Copyright 2009, my website. Uh, an H1 tag at the top with a black background, red font lined in the center. And a blue link, like we said. And when we hover over it, it turns red and gets underlined. And when we click it, it opens up in a new window. If I had done that in Firefox, it would have opened up in a new tab instead. And that's that's it for this one. I've really got to end this quick because uh, I really don't want it to be long because I don't want it to take a long time to upload to YouTube. Mainly because I've already done this one. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I'll try and do more like this.